welcome back to Maypole Farm and we are starting off with a little bit of logging. Don't switch off, it's not all logging, don't worry. Um, some of you seem to want to see some logging, some probably not so much. So I'm going to try and do a bit of a balance just to get us through winter. Um, I was very aware that this could have turned into another episode, which is exactly the same as the last one, because pretty much I could have cut some trees down and I could have made some cow feed and we are going to do both of those things but there's a few other things we need to get to as well like selling off some of the excess crops that we've got so uh really selling the trees to try and recover some of the money while we clear this plot of land because obviously we invested 20 grand one thing that i hadn't realized i think it was rob pointed out to me um f1 menu with the lumberjack mod it will measure the cut for you and it shows you the length either side that's really cool. So it's the distance along the log from the last time you hit cut. So you don't actually need to make a cut. You can just mark it by, you know, kind of nicking the tree with the chainsaw um, and it will give you the length, which is really nice. Um, I had not seen that. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Um, I am intentionally not using the chainsaw to stump grind. I don't think that fits in with how this let's play works so we are going to go and release a stump grinder in a bit so we can start clearing the stumps out as well so we can begin to open this plot of land up for the future land owner so yeah i'm just cutting these to about six meters i think i was doing and then if it was less than six meters i think i kind of cut it in half something like that yeah so you can see how i'm doing that uh, so it just sits under the F1 menu and you don't have to do anything to activate it. It's just there. Um, the other thing I want to have another play with is the Typhoon or something like that. Um, again, thank you. Sorry, I've forgotten who it was who pointed it out to me, how you pronounce that. Um, it's definitely not Tushfan or Typhran or maybe Typhoon. Typhoon. It's some, something like Typhoon. And um, so I tried to... When someone pointed out to me that it's sort of pronounced Typhoon, um, I didn't realize it's a, a, a European brand, um, or Eastern European brand. Um, when someone pointed that out to me, I went and did a quick Google, and Google did not do a good job. Well, the few sites that came up, the, the first few sites that came up, did not do a good job of uh, explaining the pronunciation of the brand of winch that we're using. Let's, let's go with that, shall we? Um, yeah, so for a change, it's Sunday night and I'm away with work. Yay. And um, basically I had to be where I am very early in the morning. Well, not very early in the morning. Early enough in the morning that I'm beyond getting up in the morning and driving here, which some of you might think, well, wait, wait a minute. You get up early to drive to work. I do. Um, but I do that because I have to. When work are paying me, I don't have to. So, traveled over Sunday afternoon because um, it just makes life a bit easier. Um, it's well, I say it does. Obviously, um, Disco is still at home, kind of poorly. Um, Mrs. D and a teenager are going to take care of him. Um, it's kind of a balance because obviously last week I got a bonus night at home and extra day at home so i kind of see it as balancing out in the end um yeah so if you're curious um because it's a couple of days from when this video will come out this goes doing really well um it's a pretty pretty big wound that he's got it's a little bit grungy because he's a dog they don't cover them which um but i think it's going to need a dong clean when he goes back to the vets he will be back at the vets when this video releases so um i think they'll probably give it a good clean and otherwise he's doing well so yeah that's cool um some of you may have picked up from the tone of my conversation recently we were not expecting him to uh to make it out of that operation so that is a massive massive it was a massive relief for all of us um we, we'd kind of got into quite a, a negative headspace in, in the past. I've tried to stay really positive with these things and it's generally not worked out. So I uh, I was preparing myself for the worst and it turned out to be better. Um, so yeah, 
the uh, I don't know if I've spoken I have I, I have maybe I have recorded a video since we got him home I don't remember it's been a very tiring couple of days um, so although he's home he's still you know it's been quite tiring um, I one of us has been sleeping downstairs with him uh, because we're, we're keeping him on cage rest Partly so that his brothers can't bug him, partly so that if one of his brothers does bug him, he doesn't have a go at them. You know, he's obviously quite tender. Um, and he enjoys being in his cage, it's his safe space, so... Just messing around with this winter, just kind of trying to make my life easier by lining all the logs up with the trailer, but I, I still don't think this is the uh, most efficient way. I think it would have been much quicker to just use the forks on the front of the tractor, but... It was something something different to play with. Um, the winches are really nicely implemented, I will say that, and I do want to have a play around with one doing something completely different to this and kind of stupid, but I just haven't got around to doing it. I might do it this week, actually, because there's another video that I want to do that's probably going to have to wait a little while. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so one of us has been sleeping downstairs to make sure that if there's a problem, one of us hears. Um, that was me last night because Mrs. D was struggling with uh, her health problems so I slept in the uh, reclining armchair last night which was not the best night's sleep it was not the worst night's sleep so you yeah. know I have the benefit that now I'm away for a couple of days and I'll probably sleep relatively well in the hotel um, yeah so it's, uh, it's something that yeah. I used to do a lot of travelling before that thing that happened a few years ago um, with work but possibly not as much as I'm doing at the moment um, I seem to be or well, yeah, obviously maybe not obviously though a lot of the times I'm away on a Monday that is because we have made the decision that it's better from a cost and from a my sanity point of view that um, when I'm doing two days in the office, I stay away overnight. Um, now my my commute home, so my, my my commute is about on a good day about an hour and fifteen minutes. My commute home can vary between probably the best has been about an hour and a half to three, three and a half, four hours um, with traffic. So you know with the kind of made the decision that I'd stay away for those nights so I'm away a lot more because of that um, but you know with with a commute that's that long by the time I've got up go get up early to go to work to avoid the traffic in the morning because that makes one journey at least a controlled length um, but by the time I've done that and if I have like a three two by the time we're into the sort of two two and a half hour drive home um I think giants have tweaked the amount of the amount of tree you can pick up because I thought it was a hundred kilos, but it seems to be more. Um, I came over and checked on one of the bigger logs that I hadn't accidentally put super strength on because I thought you know 130 kilos is a lot of log to pick up, but no, I can't pick up the 200 or kilo one. So maybe they've tweaked it a bit. Maybe I'm just misremembering. But um, yeah. So yeah, by, you know, by the time I've got up early, driven to work, done a day at work, and then had a maybe two and a half hour drive home, it's not unusual for it to be about two and a half hours. There's not much time left in the day, and you know, I'll eat and I'll go to bed. So it's not like we're missing out on time together. Um, it's only one night a week, so we're doing that. But I'm also finding that I'm having a lot more trips away with work at the moment. So here's what it is. I think it's made possibly part of the slight change of role that I've had over the last year at work. Um, eh. it, there are worse things, it's always been a part of my job, so it's not like it's a shock for either of us, and we've kind of been used to it for a very long time, so yeah. Um, what else do you want to talk about? So the, the um, Goville pack had so many pronunciations of that over the last little while should be live by the time this comes out um, I'm actually working on today for you guys on Tuesday so I'm going to be in the office on Tuesday so I'm not going to really have a look at that until Wednesday um, 
you will have seen maybe on my discord um, or if you speak german you might have watched paul stream that we uh there has been or there is an update in the process for maze plus it may have come out today i don't know um then i'm not sure what the plan is for getting it released so there we go one loaded trailer of vlogs um i didn't want to make you make you watch me load all of them um yeah i'm not sure what the plan is for getting that to two giants and getting through mod hub testing and all that but there is an update coming that um enhances maze plus's compatibility with the gofield pack and all the new bailers and stuff so uh don't know if we'll be doing an english stream later in the week um but if not i'll see if i can show it off a bit for you um let's sell some logs shall we so four and a half grand for that just over that's not too bad um do you have the disadvantage on this map that because the the log yard is not there i only have one sell point so if we bring too much up the price might start to drop as i said i want to lease a uh, excuse me a oh words stump grinder who was shouting out the screen yeah a stump grinder so um i'm just gonna go for a base game one I, I did have a quick look for some modded ones but there weren't any that really fit so we're just gonna lease this guy 1200 pounds is not too bad um and we're going to see if we can use the telly truck to load it on the trailer to get it down to our plot of land um yeah i was feeling kind of brave and sporty with this to see whether we could pick it up with the pallet forks um it feels like we should be able to um i i, I guess i'm gonna say something which all of you are gonna have answers for there's things like the big bag lift there's a few few things that have straps it'd be really nice to be able to chain things um you know so get the forks above it put some chains on it and lift it that way um as so i know there are a few things that let you use straps and you could probably do that to lift it but yeah that'd be kind of cool but we have got the pallet forks under it it's somewhat stable it's pretty heavy um it's definitely on the higher end of what we would want to pick up with the telly truck i think but we are going to get it on the trailer uh, so i had thought about leaving the front weight down at the, the forestry bit but i think we need that on with a trailer full of logs because it's a lot of weight to uh, to be maneuvering so yeah i'm hoping this week we will be back to a somewhat normal schedule for videos um, we'll see how that goes it's uh yeah, the first few days of the week are going to be quite busy and quite tiring, but I think I'm in a good place to uh, to get that sorted. Um, it would be nice. It's been a bit random lately. It would be nice to get back on track. Um, there were a couple of... Oh, oh, there's, there's the one big obvious thing which has been affecting it, because sometimes I just haven't felt like playing video games, or we've had stuff going on which meant I didn't have the time. Um, the other thing that's kind of affecting it, and I'm not going to ramble on forever, don't worry, is um running you know it's like saturday i did a, a 20 mile run in the morning and i was kind of tired the rest of the day well, apart from you know the whole stress of disco and stuff so yeah sometimes i don't play as much at the weekend as i was before i was getting into doing longer runs but yeah we're 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 we're, 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 we're get i've got probably more than halfway through the week worth of videos recorded not necessarily finished but recorded uh, so we are down at the forestry area and we are going to so i had a go with a log grab at trying to get this off but it would not go underneath it so we are going to use some chains to get this off because uh, uh, yeah uh, it would have been nice i thought i should have been able to get the log grab under the ripper or whatever that is on the back of the mulcher um but it wouldn't go so we're going to chain it up to the to the log fork and uh lift it off that way because you know that's that's how you would probably do this kind of thing um yeah like that see 
it worked perfectly. Um, it was awesome. Yeah, that um, that that chain mod worked really well. There wasn't a chain mod. Um, so yeah, we're going to hook this up to the back of the Fiat and uh, get some mulching done. I haven't used this since I think my very first Let's Play series on Obeleron, where I did a lot of forestry and I spent a lot of time hunting tree stumps in bushes because uh, when I created that area on the map I went a bit crazy with the landscaping tool and uh, got a bit carried away so yeah, at least this time it's nice open land we can see where all of the stumps are and quite easily get them mulched ground um, <laughs> in reality if you were grinding at a tree stump, you'd probably leave a whacking great hole. Because obviously you've got root structure and things. But we are doing farm sim magic and just touching it with the stump grinder and it vanishes. I have noticed that it's very sensitive to where you place it. So if you put it in slightly the wrong place, it'll just grind away for ages and do nothing. If you put it in the right place, you touch it, it vanishes. So yeah, there is that. Um, I'm going to finish up with the forestry in a moment, I promise. Um, so, tomorrow we're going to have the second episode of the, uh, the Can You Make Money With Grapes? I have, so I put a poll up today, Sunday today, um, when I'm talking to you um, on the YouTube channel page about whether people would prefer shorter or longer videos for that. Um, I have actually got the next one edited already and it is a shorter video so um, the last time I looked the preference was for longer video so probably video 3 onwards will be slightly longer um, some of them may be shorter still because the um, the benefit of them being shorter is it's much quicker for me to record the commentary now it's only probably a difference of about 15 minutes 20 minutes so it's not the end of it. So this is what you can see what I'm saying about you can just you know you can keep hitting it with a mulcher and it stays there forever. You touch it at the right spot, it vanishes. It's not a massive amount of time difference, and uh, that first video was incredibly popular. So I'm hoping that this mini series is going to be pretty popular because that would be cool. Um, yeah. Anywho, we're mulching some trees. And so I, I don't know what to do with this plot of land. So I had planned to do a fair bit of forestry over the winter, but I've done a couple of days of it. Um, basically, this video, we're going to get to the point where we can get to February, where I'm hoping. So we have a little bit of field work to do in February, although we could go later and plant the, uh, the root cross late. Um, I was going to say sugar beet, but I might do potatoes because I'm doing sugar beet on adding them. Um, I'm not sure which one we're going to do on here. Need to have need to check the calendar if I'm going to do potatoes when I can plant them. But I think we're going to sell some trees and then we're going to get back to the yard. Um, there's, there's some things I want to show you when the weather changes. So not so much cash for these, only just under three grand. Um, so it's the next day, it's the morning, it has snowed and with the 1.9 update I'm not getting the horrendous flickering that I was on this map. Um, and I have also um, milled all of the grain that we can in the little grain mill. So we've got 4,000 litres of barley, almost 4,000 litres of oats left. We've used all the wheat up. Um, we so we're gonna we're gonna sell those and we've got thirty three thousand liters of grain grist in the silo for feeding. Um, yeah, on this map I, around the last video that I was recording, which was just before the update, I think um, I had some some snow and some frost. I actually had to F twelve it away because the flickering was so so bad. Um, I couldn't actually stand looking at it. It was so bad. Um, but the 1.9 update, it, Giants didn't mention it in the change log, I don't think. But they've done something which seems to improve it. So I'm not going to complain at all because that's awesome. 
So I've put a bale of hay in the feed mixer and then a bucket of grain mix. We're gonna do a bucket of brewer's grain. That's what this stuff is on the floor. And then some root crops and some silage. It's uh, kind of, it's one of my more complicated mixes that I've done uh, for a long time on, well on here, we don't normally do, we only do TMR in the winter. That's kind of where we've gone with this. Um, in the summer we'll do, we'll go back to zero grazing. Um, and I, don't, I think I shared it. There was a really cool post on somewhere. I don't remember where. I'm um, talking about the benefits of zero grazing. So that was cool. Um, you know, improved milk production and stuff. I don't know, but um, it's what we do in kind of three quarters of the year. I guess we just we need to wait for the grass to be grown enough before we start cutting it. Um, but yeah, this is one of the more complex TMRs that I've done. Um, and previously on Attingham, I was doing a lot of just um, grass silage and maize silage um, until I customized it and made it so we can't do just maize silage and grass silage. Um, this one, we have a slight customization um, because that's how Maze Plus is set up. And I, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, kind of cool um, i'm looking forward to getting back in to springtime on here and getting back to making progress just trying to clean up this little mound of beats here i've had all three of my let's plays hit this kind of winter period in fact all four like one week after the other in fact this one's been going for a bit longer um yeah all of the series including the patron series and i will say thank you to the patrons and the youtube channel members at this point because it's a nice easy time to make a note of you guys are awesome thank you for your continued support um yeah so i've done it every it feels like every weekend recently i have sat and played winter um you know which is lots of feed animals skip time feed animals maybe sell some crops skip time feed animals um yeah it's not my favorite time in fs if i'm honest um it was one of the nice things about the ohio i'm going to put some fuel in the z tour while we're here one of the really nice things about the ohio series and not having animals is i could just skip time and not worry um this save is better because with night cloaks edit to the maze plus feeding and milking the feed lasts a bit longer so you're not quite on the right it's you know it's 8 a.m i've got to feed it's 8 p.m i've got to feed again because the cows are eating it all if you're playing on greenlands like i the way i have greenland set up it's not to do with greenlands it's they have a lot of cows on there um, and they pretty much eat all of the feed i can give them in less than a day so twice a day feeding on there is a thing on here i can feed once a day and actually i'm not even needing to feed an entire or two more you know it's like one and a half mixer loads most of the time so that's kind of cool obviously taking the wrap off the silage because that's what you do um, but yeah it's definitely not my favorite part of it and uh ohio was nice because didn't have to really worry about winter i was playing without seasons on um and the grape series is going to be cool for that as well because you know there's a lot of just um you know that's almost like a turns it into a three or four day year um so you know the speed of that series is going to be quite quick so i've done i've recorded the second video and we get most of the i guess you know it's not really field work but field work type activities done um and it didn't really take that long it was kind of nice um i'll talk about it in that video more than this one because otherwise i'm stealing content from that video and that would be a bad idea um, the the grain mix i basically spent quite a long time with the z tour and that thousand liter bucket filling up and emptying the grain mill um Basically, I wanted to get it all milled because I knew I was going to have some excess. 
been the easiest way to know what my access was and um, we're gonna so we're gonna take the barley up to the cell point the thing that I was finding is that if I had where I hadn't done that I would come to wanting to mix feed and I didn't have grain mix so I would have to wait for it to process and so just bite the bullet it was a Saturday afternoon job Mrs D was out with the teenager and the in-laws um so I was dog sitting and the easiest way to uh you know so dogs dogs didn't really need me to do much if just keeping an eye on disco so yeah sat and mixed three thirty three thousand liters of grain mix um that little grain meal is very cool um, so I could have made a little bit more selling this at one of the other sell points, but basically I didn't want to drive that far. Yeah, I know. Um, I think the price per thousand litres was only a few pounds, so it's not like it's going to be a significant difference in the amount of income that we get. You know, we've only got 4,000 litres to sell. It's not going to be a lot of money, but there's no point in us keeping it because I haven't got anywhere to use it. So. And I could have hung on to it for next year, but that feels, you know, unnecessary, I think. Um, so we'll see how much we can make for this. I'm just going to turn off the tagging because it's a bit annoying. Uh, what's that? £1,500? Yes. Better than a kick in the teeth. It's not a huge amount of money, but that probably was excess from contracts at that point. So, you know... Um, and the other reason not to keep it is undoubtedly there will be loads of con harvesting contracts in the summer and we can just pick more of those up and do more harvesting so now bring the oats up to the cereal mill and while we're up here we are going to pick up some more brewer's grain because we're getting through that uh, using a couple of thousand liters a day ish so yeah we may as well pick up a trailer for while we're up here so how much are we going to get for this a little bit more two and a half thousand ish so you know i was just having a quick look in the price list for i think the one i was looking for was grain mix but i scrolled past it there it is and we want the doika one to see how much it would cost us to buy it from the doika buy point that's up here at the cereal mill and thing so 800 pounds per thousand liters that's a lot um so probably not going to be buying that, I don't think. Um, the brewer's grain is like 60 per 1,000 litres. So yeah, we'll buy that instead and stick with what we're doing at the moment. Um, and I think I looked just in case we ran out, basically. But I think we will because we'll be back to zero grazing in probably about April, I think. We need to give the grass a little bit of time to grow. But I think by about April we'll be back to zero grazing and uh, we've got all the kit for it now so we are good to go um, actually a video that I was thinking about doing it occurred to me that I'd actually forgotten about it so I should make a note of it um, and I'm curious on your thoughts on this should you lease stuff or should you buy it in FS not in life that's a completely different topic I'm not going to give you life advice um, I have my opinions on which things you should lease over which things you should buy I think there are definitely things that are much more cost effective so I just want to see if I can put the brewer's grain in the silo so I can put grain mix in there and I couldn't remember if brewer's grain got added as well um, turns out no it wasn't yeah so I, I have my own opinions on if you're you know if you're not caltech rich because you know we can't all be caltech rich um and if you can't just buy everything um then uh which things should you buy and which things should you lease in my opinion um i'm curious as to what you guys think so you know stick that in the comments what are the things that you always buy and what are the things you always slash usually lease particularly early on in a let's play um now i'm kind of curious on that and i do think it'd be a nice little video uh, so 
just bedding up the cows and uh, I put this in because I didn't have a thumbnail and I grabbed a shot of me blowing straw in to the cows uh, and I thought I had done everything I wanted to do I haven't there is more to come um, I don't, yeah it's the thumbnail so we're going to sell some of the potatoes because I think we probably have an excess of root crops at this point um, but before we do that I am going to blow a little bit more straw in for the cows trying to keep their bedding topped up we do have quite a lot of manure as well um, probably we'll use some of that for fertilizing for the root crops and the maize um, but we might have some excess to sell um, we'll see how we do I, I was just so pleased that the uh, the game was not constantly flickering i'm hoping so i've tried i've played now three saves i think um since the 1.9 update and none of them have had flickering issues which is amazing it's, you know if giants have fixed that that should have been headline in the change log we have fixed the game flickering textures because that's I think I might have also updated my NVIDIA drivers, so it might be NVIDIA. Um, but I'm going to give Giants credit because it's been more obvious since the 1.9 update. So, yeah, I, I thought probably we had enough sugar beets that we could sell a trade load of potatoes. Um, it makes sense to sell the potatoes because they're worth more. So it's still not a lot, but it's a little bit. And... Um, yeah, at this point, the price is at its best, and I thought we should clear some of it out. We uh, might end up having to sell some of it at a less good price um, later on, because well, we'll just roll it over. Um, as we progress, the, the cow herd is going to grow, so they're going to eat more, so we'll get through more in later on. Um, I've not really decided how big to let the herd get. I think each place will hold 45 cows. I don't think I want to get to 90 cows on here. I'm not sure. Um, we're not going to be keeping all of the calves, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, I've not decided yet. We'll see how we get on. Um, I think maybe about 50, something like that. Um, I think I'm a lot again. It's because I'm tired. I, I am. I wasn't actually going to do any recording today. I I got to the hotel, um, unpacked all my stuff. I I've actually um, I brought some more stuff with me. I'll talk about it if I do another video while I'm away. If not, I'll talk about it when I get back home. Um, I'm traveling with even more kit though. So, um, but yeah, I was really tired when I got here. And, uh, I wasn't going to record any commentaries. I've got a couple of videos to voice over, but I was just going to uh, stick a film on and relax. And then I was sat here watching the film and got the urge to record this. And 30 odd minutes later, the tiredness is back. So probably what I'll do is finish this up, get this video edited and uh, go back to watching a film i was watching one of the uh pirates of the caribbean films i used to love watching those and i haven't watched them in a while so i don't have it we have sky tv well we have virgin cable tv in the uk um and they piggyback on sky tv so we go to sky tv channel every so often or, uh, sky usually have a movie channel which is like all of the um Pirates of the Caribbean movies, or all of the Harry Potter movies, or all of the Fast and Furious movies, that kind of thing, and it just plays them over and over again. And uh, we quite often just stick those on as background. So there was a period where we were watching those a lot. I haven't seen them in ages, so I started watching them again. Um, we have Disney Plus, and I realized that Disney Plus has a lot of cool stuff on it that I haven't been watching. So um, I think I mentioned I've started rewatching The Lost. And actually, I'm about halfway through the first series of that, and I'm really enjoying it again. There's a lot of stuff that I'd forgotten in Lost, 
and I'm really enjoying it so yeah uh, we should get ourselves over to the supermarket at this point I did have a bit of finger trouble um, so I've been playing around with the NVIDIA screenshot feature um, thanks to one of the guys on discord um, terrible with names I'm sorry it begins with S and I can just I can see see your avatar but I can't remember the rest of your name um, and that's Alt F3 to bring that up which is right next to Alt F4 and Alt F4 closes the game so yeah I did that um, so I had to reload this trailer which was a bit annoying but oh well um, anyway we're going to get this sold so you will see a little bit of a jump here because I was doing the same thing I was getting a screenshot at that point there and um, so weirdly the game gave me the environmental reward before it finished selling anyway thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video click the like button comments questions suggestions below two and a new three grand for those potato so pretty good um, I'll see you next time on Greenlands <laughs>